morning, everyone. This is Pastor Dan from Athens Christian Reformed Church again, and uh, I am here with devotions for the 31st day of Lent. Our invitation throughout this week comes from Psalm 145, verses 17 and 18. Just take a moment and take a deep breath and uh, perhaps close your eyes to listen, uh, do whatever is comfortable, but just pause and hear this invitation from scriptures. The Lord is righteous in all his ways and faithful in all he does. The Lord is near to all who call on him, to all who call on him in truth. Our Bible song comes from Psalm 26, verses 1 and 8 to 12. In it, the psalmist writes, Vindicate me, Lord, for I have led a blameless life. I have trusted in the Lord and have not faltered. Lord, I love the house where you live, the place where your glory dwells. Do not take away my soul along with sinners my life with those who are bloodthirsty, in whose hands are wicked schemes, whose right hands are full of bribes. I, led a blame, I lead a blameless life. Redeem me and be merciful to me. My feet stand on level ground. In the great congregation, I will praise the Lord. It's funny, the psalmist says that he has led a blameless life twice in this. And, uh, of course, that's not really true. Um, at least from a, you know, factual standpoint. Uh, but because his belief, his hope is in the Lord, he can say that without lying, basically. Not that he's never done anything wrong, but rather that because he has trusted in God, because he trusts in God, his sin is washed away. That is why uh, a little bit towards the end, in, near verse uh, 12, he says, I lead a blameless life, redeem me and be merciful to me. You get that contrast right within that same sentence Redeem me and be merciful to me, and I lead a blameless life. Obviously, those things both can't be true, but yet he says them because he has been redeemed by God in the past, and he is counting on, relying, and asking for God's redemption in the future as well. Listen to what our Bible reading says, Hebrews 5, verses 5 to 10. In the same way, Christ did not take on himself the glory of becoming a high priest, but God said to him, You are my son. Today I have become your father. And he says in another place, You are a priest forever in the order of Melchizedek. During the days of Jesus' life on earth, he offered up prayers and petitions with fervent cries and tears to the one who could save him from death, and he was heard because of his reverent submission. Son though he was, he learned obedience from what he suffered, and, once made perfect, he became the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him, and was designated by God to be high priest in the order of Melchizedek. Now that passage is interesting too, because it says once made perfect, and this is often misunderstood, that as if Jesus wasn't perfect before, but that's not quite what this passage means. It's talking about uh, complete, that once Jesus was made complete, in his obedience, once he had um, 
obeyed to the fullest extent, as it were. Not that he ever withheld obedience, but rather that he had certain tasks before him and he needed to obey those those tasks he was called to do. He needed to obey the Father in those things up until the complete point where he had uh, done exactly what God had asked of him, his Father. Which, of course, reminds me that we, too, are perhaps suffering during this time, and perhaps, no, definitely, we are also being asked to be obedient to the calling of God the Father in our lives today. And so maybe that's something you can ponder today. If you are suffering or struggling with worry or anxiety, or, or if you are working hard on the front lines of, of health care, or whatever your situation, in your suffering, what is God calling you to do obediently in this time? Let's pray. Jesus, friend of sinners, what friend would stand in my place like you? You presented yourself in my name, taking the wrath that was aimed at me. You offered yourself on the cross, pouring out your precious blood for the cleansing of all my sins. Thank you, Jesus, my friend, my Savior, and High Priest forever. Amen. Now receive God's blessing today. God has given us eternal life, and this life is in his Son. Whoever has the Son has life. Amen. Go in God's peace today and seek out what God is calling you to do in your time of suffering.